Right now, something unimaginable is unfolding at the edge of our solar system, the interstellar object known as 3i slash ATLAS, a visitor from beyond our stars, has just done something no natural object should ever be able to do. It bent space-time. Not figuratively, not as a poetic metaphor, NASA's instruments recorded an actual gravitational distortion around it, a measurable warping of space itself. And if that's true, then everything we thought we knew about gravity, mass, and interstellar travel may never be the same again. Before we explore this breathtaking discovery, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I love knowing where around the world you're watching from, because tonight every one of us shares this moment, a moment when humanity looked into the dark and saw the universe bend. The story begins quietly, as all great discoveries do. A few months ago, astronomers using the Subaru telescope in Hawaii were tracking the trajectory of 3i slash ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar object to enter our solar system. At first, it behaved predictably. A faint greenish glow, a smooth curve through the outer planets, moving faster than any comet we've seen. But then, during one of NASA's high-precision measurements, something happened that made scientists stop breathing. For a brief moment, a fraction of a second, 3i slash ATLAS appeared to decelerate. Not because of resistance, not because of dust or gravity from nearby planets. It slowed against empty space. The equations didn't add up. Then, almost immediately, the space around it rippled, as if the fabric of the cosmos itself had been pulled and released, like a stretched sheet snapping back into place. Telescopes across the globe recorded it. The European Space Agency's Gaia Observatory confirmed gravitational lensing, a bending of light, around a body far too small to cause such an effect. The James Webb Space Telescope, pointed nearby, detected micro distortions in background starlight, subtle but undeniable. And that's when the whispers began. Could 3i slash ATLAS be creating its own gravitational field? Could something artificial, a technology beyond human imagination, be manipulating the very structure of space-time to move? Now let's pause. To most people, the term bending space-time sounds like science fiction. But in Einstein's universe, it's very real. Every object with mass bends the space around it. The more massive the object, the greater the curve. That curve is gravity. The sun bends space. The earth rides in that curve like a marble rolling in a bowl. But for something the size of a small comet to distort light itself, even briefly, it would need an energy source beyond comprehension. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory released a statement saying the event does not conform to standard gravitational models. That scientists speak for, we have no idea what just happened. Some speculate it may have encountered a gravitational wave, a ripple traveling through space from a distant cosmic collision. Others think it might be made of exotic matter, a material so dense, so foreign, it naturally warps the space around it. But a few, including theorists at Harvard's Center for Astrophysics, are entertaining an even more daring idea that 3i slash ATLAS could be using gravitational manipulation as propulsion. If true, it would change everything we know about travel between the stars. Imagine a ship not pushing through space with rockets or solar sails, but riding the folds of space itself. Instead of moving through the universe, it moves the universe around it, bending the cosmic fabric to shorten the distance. For decades, this has been the holy grail of theoretical physics, the warp drive. And now, some are asking, what if 3i slash ATLAS just showed us it's possible? Of course, NASA isn't claiming this. Officially, it's just an unexplained gravitational event. But behind closed doors, something remarkable is happening. Data sharing channels between NASA, ESA, and the Japanese Space Agency have gone dark. Restricted access only. The same happened in 2017 with Oumuamua when it briefly accelerated without any visible jet of gas or dust. But this time, it's different. This time, we have evidence that the very space around the object changed. When I first saw the gravitational data released by the University of Tokyo, I felt a chill. It was subtle, elegant, and terrifyingly precise, as though someone had gently touched the universe and left a fingerprint. 
You see, 3i slash ATLAS has been behaving strangely since day one. Unlike normal comets, it glowed from within rather than reflecting sunlight. Its trajectory wasn't chaotic, it was deliberate, almost surgical. And now, after this warping event, the glow has vanished. 3i slash ATLAS has gone dark, invisible to optical telescopes. It's still there, detectable by radar, but its signature has changed completely. Scientists are calling it the blackout phase. It's as if the object slipped behind a curtain of its own making, a gravitational shroud that hides it from our view. Some researchers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center have noticed something chilling. Time around 3 I slash ATLAS seems to have dilated slightly. The signals bouncing off it from radio telescopes took longer than expected to return, by microseconds, but enough to suggest that the space around it has stretched. Let that sink in. If these measurements are correct, 3 I slash ATLAS isn't just moving through space, plus it's bending time itself. When we talk about time dilation, we're talking about one of the most profound consequences of Einstein's relativity. Clocks tick slower in stronger gravitational fields. Astronauts on the International Space Station age a fraction of a second slower than people on Earth. But to create measurable time dilation, you need immense gravity, a planet, a star, or a black hole. For a small object to achieve that, impossible, unless it's doing something we don't understand. And that's exactly why scientists fear what comes next. Because if 3i slash ATLAS can manipulate space-time, intentionally or accidentally, what happens when it interacts with something else? What happens if it bends too much? Could it tear a micro-fissure in space, a pocket of warped time? Could it create even momentarily a bridge between here and somewhere else? These are not the ramblings of science fiction. These are real discussions happening in research labs tonight. One physicist from MIT put it bluntly, if this isn't natural, then something out there understands the universe better than we do. And that's the part that haunts me most. You see, throughout human history, every great discovery began with something that defied explanation. The strange orbit of Mercury gave us Einstein's theory of relativity. A tiny anomaly in Uranus's movement led to the discovery of Neptune. Every mystery in the cosmos is an invitation a whisper saying, look closer. 3i slash ATLAS may be one of those whispers, but it feels different. It feels intelligent. Some theorists believe we're witnessing a form of cosmic engineering, an ancient probe still carrying out its purpose. Perhaps it wasn't built to communicate, but to observe. Maybe it's been traveling for eons, passing through star systems, scanning magnetic fields, gravitational harmonics, the architecture of space itself. And when it reached ours, something, perhaps the sun's field or Earth's gravity, triggered it. The light flash we detected weeks ago could have been a signal. The gravitational ripple, a form of propulsion. And now, by going dark, it may be entering a new phase or preparing for something else entirely. It's humbling, isn't it? To think that we might be the ants watching a passing ship mistaking its shadows for miracles. For those of you who remember the Apollo missions, you might recall that same feeling, the awe of stepping onto a world that had existed for billions of years, untouched by life. That same feeling is back tonight, but multiplied. We are no longer the explorers. We are the observed. NASA has now deployed the Deep Space Network to track 3i slash ATLAS beyond Mars's orbit. The object appears to be slowing again, slightly, but without any visible cause. The only possible explanation is that it's altering the curvature of space around itself, like a surfer adjusting the shape of the wave. If that's true, then for the first time in history, we may be witnessing technology that uses the laws of physics not as barriers, but as tools. Think about that. For centuries, humanity has fought against nature, against gravity, friction, distance, what if another civilization learned to flow with those forces, not fight them? To harness the elasticity of space like a musician plucking the strings of a cosmic instrument? I often tell my students that science is poetry written in the language of mathematics. But tonight, it feels like the universe itself is writing a new verse. And 3i slash ATLAS is the pen.
Perhaps we've been wrong to assume that intelligence must look like us or think like us. Maybe the first real sign of advanced life won't come in the form of a message or a beacon. Maybe it will come as a ripple in the stars, a soft bending of the rules, a hint that someone else is out there playing with the fabric of reality itself. So as 3i slash ATLAS fades into the outer dark, leaving behind more questions than answers, I invite you to think about this. What if we just witnessed the future, not just of alien technology, but of our own destiny? Because if it's possible to bend space-time, then one day humans could cross the galaxy not in millennia, but in moments. Maybe 3i slash ATLAS isn't here to scare us. Maybe it's here to show us what's possible. Do you believe 3i slash ATLAS truly bent space-time, or do you think the universe is simply playing tricks on our instruments? Tell me below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who still gazes up at the night sky with wonder, because someday soon, when we finally understand the riddle of space and time, we'll realize that the universe has never been silent. It has always been speaking, in light, in gravity, in whispers that stretch across eternity. And now, with 3 I slash ATLAS, we may have heard it speak for the very first time.